Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about absolute value equations. So first, first some vocabulary. An absolute value, when I say that, that means it is the distance of a number from zero. And so the absolute value of a number is always positive. And the reason why it's always positive is because when we're talking about distance, we're always talking about a positive number. So for instance, if I am saying that the finding the distance from a store to your house, you can never have negative three miles. It's always three miles. Even if it's maybe south from your house, you're still going three miles. And so the same concept is applied here. When we're taking the absolute value of a number, it's always going to be positive because we're looking at how far away it is from zero. So for example, the absolute value of four, well, four is four away from zero. And so that would equal to four. The absolute value of negative 10, however, is going to be positive 10. Because if I'm looking at a number line, I have negative 10 over here and zero here. Even though from zero we went in negative 10 spaces, the distance from zero is still going to be 10. And so that's why that is a positive 10. And so in this lesson, we're talking about solving absolute value equations. And so an absolute value equation is an equation that contains an absolute value expression. And you can solve absolute value equations by solving two related linear expressions. And so we have several properties of absolute values that we will take into account when we're solving these equations. First, that is just from the definition, the absolute value of A, so the absolute value of any number is always greater than or equal to zero. When I take the absolute value of any negative number, it's just going to end up equaling the positive of that number. So that means that the absolute value of negative A is going to equal to the absolute value of positive A. If I have a product of numbers, say the absolute value of A times B, that's the same thing as the absolute value of A times the absolute value of B. And similarly, if I have a fraction, so A divided by B, and I'm taking the absolute value of that, that is going to be the same thing as the absolute value of A divided by the absolute value of B, as long as B does not equal zero. Because remember, we cannot have zero in the denominator. And now, here is an important thing that I need to mention here. So I'm going to do a little star. Is that when C is less than 0, so in other words, when C is negative, then this equation, the absolute value of AX plus B equals C, has no solution. So for example, if I had the absolute value of x plus 3 is equal to negative 7, that would be no solution. And that is related to our first property here, the fact that the absolute value of a is always greater than or equal to 0. So that means I can never have that the absolute value of a number is equal to a negative number.